good morning all of you today i am going to discuss about uh, the combinational lenses uh, resultant focal length so here i am going to discuss about uh, the two different lenses which we have uh, convex lens and concave lenses we know very well the convex lens always a uh, positive focal length and concave lens is always having a negative focal length if suppose if you added these two lenses uh, together then what is the resultant focal length so here for that reason i consider that the resultant focal length of these two lenses it is a uh, f1 and it is f2 now the resultant focal length 1 by f is equals to 1 by f1 plus 1 by f2 this implies 1 by f is equals to f2 plus f1 by f1 f2 that means uh, the focal length f is equals to f1 f2 by f1 plus f2 this is the two different combinational lenses resultant focal length let me go for the different combinations the possibility combinations are first let us consider this is the principal axis and this is the convex lens pole and now here i combine the concave lens uh, together in this type of arrangement if the light is passing through the convex lens uh, like this now the light is incident on this now in which way the light ray is passing is the question mark now to find about the uh, light passing through this arrangement i need to find the focal length of resultant of these two combinations let we go for that this is f1 and it is f2 so the resultant focal length f is equal to f1 f2 by f1 plus f2 but here f1 is convex so convex means here we know that here the convex lens is positive concave lens is negative so let we come to here f1 is a positive so f1 is positive f1 and f2 is negative so that's why it is f2 is negative by f1 it is a minus f2 so therefore minus f1 f2 by f1 minus f2 is the resultant focal length of this arrangement let me go for this f is equal to minus f1 f2 by f1 minus f2 so now here let we consider again we have some different cases from this equation what are that cases we have that three cases in this three cases we need to know that the case is how one time f1 is less than f2 one time f1 is equals to f2 and another one time f1 is greater than f2 these are the only possibilities for this combinations maybe sometimes f1 is uh, high sometimes f2 is uh, high sometimes both are equal at that situation what is the resultant path of this light rays that we need to know let we come for this case f if f1 focal length is less f2 focal length is very high at that moment what is the light ray path let we come for that by using this formula so minus f1 f2 is bigger f1 is minus so f1 into f2 by here f1 is lesser than the f2 so that means the resultant is negative so this implies the above one is negative and below one is negative so negative by negative we will get positive so that means uh, the resultant focal length is here convex so that means it is in the only case of f1 is less than f2 so this is the final ultimate uh, we got so that we are going to apply so f1 is less than f2 case we have the convex so that means uh, these are the light rays are moving so this case is only possible at f1 is less than f2 at that moment it is convex now let we come to the equal case so from this equal case uh, f is equal to minus f1 into f2 by f1 minus f2 if f1 and f2 both are equal then the minus f1 f2 by f1 equal to f2 that is zero then f is equal to infinite so infinite is the possibility when it has no change 
at that condition only it have the possibilities see if the light is passing like this now if there is no change in this arrangement then only the light can move for infinite distance without change so this is possible at only the case is f1 equal to f2 so this is here we study it now let me come for the third case so in this third case let me come to that f is equal to minus f1 into f2 by f1 minus f2 so here f1 is greater and f2 is smaller so it is f1 minus f2 by f2 is smaller f1 is bigger so the ultimately the denominator value is always a positive so therefore minus by positive that means it is negative negative means what it is concave so it is ultimate so that means uh, at here onwards it is convex it is no change now it is diverge this diverge is the possibility at only f1 is uh, greater than f2 so this is the cases what we studied in the combinational lenses so thank you